What you know about Fee? She's a boss. What you say about Fee? She's a boss. Birthing bosses. Birthing bosses. She's birthing bosses. Birthing bosses. What you know about Fee? She's a boss. What you say about Fee? She's a boss. Birthing bosses. She's birthing bosses. Hey y'all, welcome to the channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to Birthing Bosses with Felicia. I am Boss Lady Fee. I hope everyone is having a great day. Happy, happy Sunday, everyone. I'm having a great day. To all of my new subscribers, guys, welcome, welcome to this amazing platform. Thank you guys so much for the outpouring of love and support. And for those of you that have been rocking with me, whether it's been a week, it's been a year, or it's been for the duration of the four years that I've been on YouTube, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Boss Lady, if he wants to send out a special thank you and a shout out to you, you and you today. Okay, so guys, we're going to get on into this video, okay? Real quick and simple, you guys. Um wanted to talk to you all about an order that I'm working on and just to kind of show you some of the items that I'm going to be using to work on this order. I'm so super excited about working on it. I got the order last week and really I had intentions on being done with it within the da a day or two. <coughs> Excuse me guys, but I had no idea that I would be super, super swamped with making candy apples for the church, which is a great thing. Okay. It's a wonderful thing. It's an amazing thing. They've been selling out every day. But it's Boss Lady Fee that's having to do those candy apples, okay? It's me that's having to do those candy apples, okay? Okay, they're doing the, um, they doing what I call the easy work. They doing the selling, okay? I'm doing the working and going to get the items and all of that stuff. But anyway, had no idea that I would be super swamped doing that for the church. So, that has kind of pushed my order Count them to the side. To the side, but not to the side. I knew that I needed to have it done by Tuesday, but my plan was to have it done and out of the way. Nevertheless, that's why I keep an abundance of things on hand, okay? But because of the large amount that, well, I'm going to say large, but for a baby basket, it was kind of a, a great budget, okay? Um, So because it was a greater budget, that meant I had to go out and get some more things. But let me show y'all some amazing things that I had on hand. If you have not been following me for a while, then some of these things um, you may haven't seen. Or maybe you've seen them and it's been so long you forgot them. Y'all look, I think I got two of these. I only could get two from Pop Shelf, guys. I paid $1.20 for these. I don't even remember what sale this was, what these were following. I don't remember but I know I paid $1.20 for it, but it's a Snug Buds Warming Plush Animal with Lavender Aromatherapy. And look at the box, y'all. Snug Bug for the baby. So we got this, okay? I'm showing you the things I already have, then I'm gonna show you the things that I got, and then we're gonna do a video together showing you guys how we're gonna put this together, okay? So we have the Snug Bug, then we have the dream big little one, moon and stars, nightlight. Look how cute that is. That we got from Walgreens, you guys. And I paid, a, mm, I don't even think I paid a dollar for this. It was less than a dollar because it was 90% off. So I don't remember. It was about, I don't know, 69, 79 cents. I don't know. But anyway, y'all. We got this moon and stars, baby print, picture frame. So cute. Great color scheme already, y'all. We also have the dream big little one. This is a, what kind of book is this? Oh, memory book. All right. 99 cent, 99 cent for the picture frame. Originally, these were 9.99. So we paid 99 cent. For these big, nice book and that nice picture frame. All right. What else we got that we already had? We got this um, board that includes letters and shapes. And they're able to put, you know, the child's name and, you know, when they were born and all that. Okay. It includes 164 pieces. Okay. Really, really nice. Again, 99 cents, y'all. That's why I tell y'all all the time. When you shop the right way, when you clearance shop, 
And I ain't talking about no 50% and 60%. Now, if you do that, that's your business. Boss lady, if you ain't trying to stop you. But if you want to make a big bag, okay? If you want a prosperous business, you want a lucrative business that you can look at and say it changed your life, you're going to have to be very cautious at how you shop, okay? Can Boss Lady Fee go pay $9.99 for this? Absolutely, I can. But is she? Absolutely not, okay? I'm not, all right? And that's my business. So, so let me bring the camera down so y'all can see, okay? Now, look at this other major, major item, you guys. This ottoman, we paid two dollars for a ottoman, right? Um, and I was like, I'm not gonna go buy anything else. We're gonna use this ottoman basket, right? The um, the uh, what you call it? The budget was really, really good, right? And I already had some amazing items, but because the budget was so large. I was like, I got to buy some more stuff. And y'all know I hate to buy new, more stuff. I like to use the stuff I already have because there's more money in my pocket, okay? More money in my pocket. But we got this ottoman. We use this ottoman, which is also speaking high-end, okay? And what I'm going to do, I went to Dollar Tree, and I got this It's a Boy. And we're going to open that up. And we're going to glue that right here on the front of this ottoman, okay? That's what we're going to do. We're going to glue that on the front. Now, let me show you the items that I picked up from Burlington last night, y'all. And I'm going to tell you why I chose these items, okay? Because my budget is already quite a bit. And yes, I got a bunch of stuff in my chair still, okay? Maybe to get out more. I don't know. I got this little cutie was $6.99. And I got it because the wrapping was so big. It was one that I saw that I liked it better. But I was like, this is bigger. Even though the booties is the same and the hat is the same, the packaging is bigger. So when I put this in here, it's going to make it look more high-end. So remember that when you're buying things, not just baby stuff, anything. When you're in Dollar Tree, don't go and get the smallest little itsy bitsy little stuff. Find the things that are in the bigger packages that make, that looks like more money, okay? Or look like more money. So we got this, and y'all see, let me bring the camera back down. How this blending right in with my bear. Y'all see, y'all see. See how this blended in? See, I already remember that that color right there was in there. So I already knew to be looking for something to match that. Then I got these um, Baby Gear bath towels for $3.99. That brown and blue. Pulling it right on in there. Okay. And I'm really feeling like I got too much stuff, honestly. But really not. I did want to get some Johnson baby powder because that was in the installation picture. So, I don't know. I, I don't know. I might get one more item because my idea was not to go over $20, $25. I spent $20 at Burlington, which means that left me with $5 to spend on items that I already had, which means I spent one, two, three, four. Uh, so I spent like $6 including the ottoman on stuff I already had. So on this basket, I spent about $26. If I get the... Um, if I get the, the, what you call it, baby powder, that's going to push me a little into what I didn't want to go over because I wanted to make like a $100 profit off of this basket. But it's going to be more like a $90 profit. And I can live with that. One basket, $90 profit. I can live with that. And I only had to go to one store. Yeah, I can live with that. So we got this. Really, I don't, I might take her up just a little bit. I really may. I may take it up just a little bit. She gave me a budget, but I might take a couple dollars over her budget, okay? Got one couple dollars over mine. This, so cute. Um, Is these bird claws? Yeah, bird claws for $3.99, okay? See how that brown and blue ties out? Y'all see? Now, I wish I had had a beige or a, a, um, 
brown color ottoman. And I'm sure they got some in the store, but again, I'm not going to spend no more money, okay? Then I got this shampoo, this all natural shampoo, and I only got it because of the color. It was $3.29, and no, I did not want to spend $3.29 on it. And my cheap, yes, I am. But it is an all natural hypoallergenic body wash and shampoo. It's chamomile and honey. So that's going to be really cute, you guys. So the only other thing that I'm going to buy, if I buy anything else, will be the Johnson's baby powder, okay? That's, that's going to be it. That's going to be all. But y'all stay tuned for the video, the conclusion video. We're going to do it together. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should. I don't know if many of you follow Nessa, Designing with Nessa, but Nessa did like a carousel type of thing with um, these um, ottomans here. I'm thinking I kind of want to go that route. I want to go that route, I think, because... I just think I'm going to go that route. We'll see. Let me know in the comments below if you've seen that carousel that she did with the um, ottoman. If you think I should do a carousel or do you think that I should just have a tall backer back here, which is probably going to be a piece of foam board wrapped. Um, do you think I should do that and then kind of have my things? Some things are going to be high. Because this is the look I'm going for now. So y'all help me with the design box, please. This is going to be kind of high. And then these things are going to be down low. But because this ottoman isn't but so wide, I got to make some of my things up high. Because it's not much design room at the bottom, okay? And the taller it is, the more money it look like it is, okay? So anyway, I hope this has helped you guys with how to pick out items for your baskets to make things look more high-end. And to shop in stores, you guys, where the items and the packaging looks really, really nice. Like, I wasn't going to Dollar Tree because the budget was so, um, so nice, you know, on this basket. I wasn't going to Dollar Tree and getting no bath plops, okay? Dollar Tree bath plops look like they came from Dollar Tree. Their bibs pretty much look like they came from Dollar Tree. Put two more dollars with it or so and get some high-end looking stuff that it's only a couple more dollars. You know, if you have to go up or take them up on their budget, so be it. But I can live with making $90 off of one basket. Now, God, I need about 20 more of them this week, and I'll be good, okay? <laughs> I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell, guys, so that each and every time I upload a video, bam, you will be the first to be notified. Get your money, honey, and fill your bag to the next video. Bye, y'all.